she would never marry marriageable but no strategy if the walls of jericho the people carried their sword and tried to bring down that gate they would have slaughtered them like chickens just the arrows from the watchmen would kill them and destroy them it takes strategies to win you have dreams where is the strategy when i meet pastors they tell me their message but they don't tell me the strategy god said go and raise me a people where do you think these people are and how are you going to fulfill that mandate a friend called me and he said um i should advise him is it right wonderful friend that i love he said is it right for him to continue raising offering in church i said well i don't have a problem with it but go and find out how god designed the finances of your ministry to run go and pray and receive a strategy do you know the challenge with the body of christ we copy everything without thinking about it we copy if i start rolling this um, um, what do you call it my trousers now here i do it for two weeks as foolish as it is of course i know it's because you love me and you believe in the word of the lord upon me you will be surprised how somebody will go for a lecture with trouser road like that he will never ask and say sorry is it an instruction that is followable or is a unique dealing or you, you are, your leg is just paining you and you think you are doing this we copy everything and sometimes to our detriment are we blessed I want you to get results you have to be at a lot you have to be focused you have to be discerning one of the ways that we engage these kinds of tongues is to write down all the issues of concern and pray while you look at it there is a relationship between your eyes and the realm of the spirit this eye is not just for looking you can write these things house rent god what is the way out are we together now ministry is not growing i'm trusting you for the healing anointing i've read everything i know what is the way out you are walking around and you just allow the holy spirit pray through you all of a sudden you will just get an idea go down to zaria see apostle let him lay hands on you you see you think that that thing just came there is no other man of god you will meet no matter how anointed that will impart that healing anointing because the instruction is already tied to a vessel sometimes it may not even be to see a man of god there are graces when i wanted god led me to specific people and places i remember i've shared some of them with you we just do things at random no divine direction hallelujah i will never forget one day i was asking god a very serious question about ministry and all of a sudden literally as if as if a force came my hands were shaking and before you knew it i still don't know the name that i typed a youtube video enter and all of a sudden one old old gray baba just appears like this with one 25 minutes message and i listened to it that message changed my life I searched for other videos the, the message did not even finish but it contained my answer hallelujah are you blessed you have to learn this if you must rise there are two ways to rise in life hustle if you want to keep moving around and knocking or go to God and say my God show me the way show me the way God can help men oh koinonia hear me my God can help men this trial and error we are doing with our lives is too much sometimes the injury that will come from trying may not allow you to try another day again so the key is to be circumspect access the deep things of God if you're naming tonight's message then is is titled accessing the deep things of god i'm giving you a secret this is what i do with my life lord i thank you sometimes a scripture is coming sometimes the voice of god comes for you 
sometimes a mystery comes sometimes an instruction comes you see that God can give you all kinds of foolish instructions let me tell you do you know there was a day I do this every once in a while but there was a day God instructed me I was just lying down I, I wasn't asleep and I was praying and all of a sudden I just sensed the anointing and all of a sudden the spirit of God told me stand up and lie down flat on the ground like get up from your bed oh, and lie imagine if somebody opened my door he said this is it I've, I've, I've always known that this guy there is something occultic he's doing and you would think as I lie down I will feel one ghost I saw nothing I had nothing I lay down like that for about maybe 20 minutes honestly speaking I even started sleeping small and later the voice just came go to bed go and sleep the next meeting that we went I can't remember where I saw a dimension of the grace of God that I couldn't understand I said what happened and God told me while you were lying down your something was happening to you you don't have to feel it you believe it God is not a fool this is how some of you can be there lord who is going to be my helper and god says come out in front of your house and just stand for 15 minutes the natural man lord what i'm, I'm educated and you stand here 10 minutes somebody passes and say ah promise are you all right he say i'm fine of course you can't tell them it's god that's making you a fool like that and all of a sudden sometimes the 15 minutes will even finish and nothing will happen and you just feel disappointed and you go back say god this is what you did god is watching your aptness to obeying him one day you will be sleeping in the night and by 2 a.m god will say call pastor alpha just call and tell him what is the message ah god how do i call a married man by 2 a.m god will say do it immediately you call he say i was just about to call you here is the message for you the place is uyo not lagos that's all i saw in my dream look believers you need to be dynamic when you are just straightforward and religious there is no breakthrough the operations of the spirit is like the wind you can't tell where it's coming or where it's going so is one who is led of the spirit there are people here who came from lagos because they were praying lord what do i do with my life and god says stand up come to zaria they can't tell you exactly why they are here that's why when you ask them those questions it's difficult for them to answer they don't want to look like they are stupid sometimes they themselves think they are stupid but keep watching god there is a mystery walking out then you will see the glory and the beauty why will god tell you to leave lagos this gentleman left ghana and came help that lady i said lagos and truly truly she fell under the anointing praise someone gets up and is enjoying oil money in portacourt and god says stand up and go and do two weeks in zamfara another person can be living where there is an oil well and be dying whereas his money is in sokoto as dry and harsh as the weather is your prosperity is where the voice of god is for you not greener pastures is not a location greener pastures is a realm where the voice of the spirit directs you there are people any other place you go you will not prosper you will prosper in zaria someone will come in zaria and be wondering what is in this place the only thing i saw was just a few shops here but a direction for you every lifting in this ministry and every greatness god has brought happen right here because we could access these mysteries are you ready to pray we are going to pray sit down you are not going to stand up sit down listen you are just going to play these instruments for me just lightly and then I just want you to pray don't shout and mm -mm, just take out time you just pray in the spirit right take out time and pray in the spirit and you will be surprised to be sensitive to what God will be doing for some as you are praying what you'll be receiving is impartation some as you are praying you will not even know what is happening to you not every information must be communicated in words some truths are imparted 
Just do what I'm telling you to do. Don't worry about those shouting. Pray in the spirit. Thank you, Jesus. Everywhere, inside, outside, you just pray. spirit shalabata kate predikiti baladaba shagate belekete baladaba show us the secrets of our life oh god show us the way out let it come from heaven some of you are receiving things just because your mind is not understanding it you watch and see what happens to you a few days from now what you have received will start being revealed to you and you will see that this is what happened in koinonia oh, oh, oh. Lord, what is the way out for my business? What is the way out for my family? Lord, what is the secret to addressing this barrenness? Lord, what level of unction do I need for this ministry? Why is it not growing? Lord, why is my family stagnated? Why are the works of my hands challenged? Send me help from Zion, O God. just pray koinonia we are soaking in the glory everyone pray in the spirit lord why is my cgpa refusing to rise what must i do i have studied i've done my best go ahead pray lord what do i need to do where is my finances oh god where is it where is the key to the next level what is the formula for my establishment lord how will you bail my family out do i just meet anybody should i meet a particular helper if yes what is the name who is the helper is he in zaria is she in zaria do i need to go out of zaria lord what is the thing is my ministry in zaria is it in nigeria where is it where is my breakthrough? Pray! Show me the secrets of my destiny. Go ahead. We are not wasting our time. I, I guarantee you. The Bible says the natural man. The natural man. Some of you in the silence, like the dew of Hammon, ideas begin to come. That poultry is my will for you. Don't stop it. That public speaking, you are about to give up, but it is where your finances is. Don't stop. It looks like your church is not growing, but you are called. You just need an upgrade of the anointing. Answers coming from heaven. Spirit of the Lord, we ask you, search for us the deep things. Search the mind of God concerning our destinies, concerning our families, concerning our ministries, concerning our homes. Lord, where will this budget money come from? There is no human way it is going to come. But I know that thou art the fountain of wisdom. It is in your light that we see light. Show me. Show me. Open my eyes. I am tired of doing what everybody is doing. 
I'm tired of failing like everyone. I'm tired of saying yes to just anybody. Open my eyes, show me. Pray. Just three or four more minutes. Lord, where is the anointing? Where is the place you want me to be meeting with you for prayer? Is it my room or do I need to go out of my house every night? What is the timing? What is my time of receiving revelation from you? Is there a unique time you want to give me? From 12 to 2 every day. Is it a time you are giving me? It may not be so for everybody. But what time have you allocated for my visitation? Do I need to fast once every day? Do I need to go on a drive fast? What do I need to do? Do I need to dance for seven days? Show me, oh God. There has to be a way out. Why are my heavens closed? Why do I fast and pray and yet nothing happens? Why are the nine graduates in my family jobless? Show me. Then the secret was revealed unto Daniel. And Daniel blessed the God of heaven. Two more minutes. Go ahead and pray. Open my mind. Open my mind. Open my mind. There is a way out. There is a way to the wealthy place. There is a way to the anointing. There is a way to influence. There is a way to access the mysteries of the kingdom. There is a path which no fowl knoweth. The wealth of the lion has not trodden there. Show me, oh God, these mystery paths in the spirit, these virgin dimensions in the spirit that mortal men cannot dare tread. Open my eyes, oh God, like a two-edged sword, and let me see the path a mark for my destiny. Hello, Madonna. 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 Just be silent, everyone. Just be silent. Just be as silent as you can. Wherever you are, just be silent. The Lord is putting something in your spirit. Be still and know. Be still and receive. Be still and hear. Be still and enter. Be still and you will know. Just be silent for two or three minutes. God is doing something in your life. Answers coming as words, as impartations. Be still. Some of you, God will be saying, don't waste your time in that direction. That's not the path for your life. Don't waste your time. Be still. Some of you, God will be telling you the change will not come in one day. Just be patient. I will visit your family, but it will take time. Please be patient. Just be patient with me a few minutes and we're done. 
be patient answers are coming think on your business while you are standing think on your family while you are standing think on your ministry while you are standing answers are coming from the throne coming from the throne God is telling you I will raise help for you it will not be with your resources that you will make this happen the helpers are coming the helpers are coming the helpers are coming this sickness is not unto death this sickness is not unto death I will give thee health and cure it is true that the healing ministry is my will for you it is true that the healing ministry is my will for you it is true that the healing ministry is my will it is true that the healing for you the ministry the healing ministry you will walk in it it is true that the healing ministry is just be patient I see sparks of light it's a picture of illumination you are receiving something in your spirit God is giving some of us clarity 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 in the name of Jesus Christ I stretch my hands and I pray for you by the message of God that the same way God sends me insight by the angel of his presence I pray for you whatever alignment your spirit must take to not only hear his voice but receive of the impulses from the throne i make this happen for you now in the name of jesus i make this happen for you now whatever position your ears must take in the spirit your eyes must take in the spirit to clear up the blurry visions to make sure that the speakings are clear i pray for you in the name of jesus may the grace the spirit of grace make this happen for you even in this Islam supernatural ideas innovative ideas supernatural strategies the strategies that force things to work some of you this week will not be over until you begin to see the fruits of superior wisdom this week will not be over until you see things that will marvel you happening by the spirit of god manifesting by the finger of god you will apply the things that you are receiving and you will watch it work it was not supposed to work but because it came by his voice you will see it rise i say to you you will see it rise i speak to you that you will see it rise before the miracle service on Friday some of you will only come for Thanksgiving because before then that which you have received from heaven will walk like fire will walk like fire listen there are some of you the next meeting you will go for as a man of God you will be surprised to see the dimension of the operation of the gifts of the Spirit you will go for your meetings and God will give you epochal revelations. You will command the realm of the spirit at your beck and call in dimensions that you will be afraid of. And that one experience will open the doors of finances, open the doors of ministry, increase membership, bring increase for you. Listen, there is a reign of wealth and prosperity that is coming upon this ministry. You hear me as I speak. I don't just talk about money just because, no, 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 no. 
there is a rain r a i n of a dimension i have seen this thing many times in my visions a dimension all these miracle alerts are just messages do you know why because god wants to establish men fast to give us room to serve him there is a dimension i want you to write it write it down that there is a dimension brothers and sisters you will see things happen to men you now see that will surprise you i know this by the spirit one of the impartations that we are coming to receive on friday is this grace for financial exploits please believe it i'm not apologetic about it because we need it your heavenly father knows there are families that must come to just cry and say god if you leave us to ourselves we may not reach the end of this year i'm rounding up a precious woman one wonderful kaduna family that i love so much they left to church this morning while service was going on in this area thieves came and buckled their house because of the financial squalor you can imagine people now live and go for work they went to church they were praying whereas robbers buckled their house packed everything that can be carried pigs whatever i mean carried them um, i don't know they didn't give me the details of what they carried they entered came and saw their house scattered because of the wickedness of satan let me tell you this a spiritual demarcation has been made over this ministry and everyone connected from this grace you are totally exempted from this financial wickedness it's no longer poverty it's warfare there is a spirit behind it to make sure believers are rubbish to become nonsense to make sure pastors become beggars to make sure nothing is discussed in church again no salvation message only money message to make sure that people never rise that the only thing that happens in church is money and raising seeds the spirit of poverty please i want you to come on friday with your heart open we are praying for the sick but some of this let's trust god to make this thing happen in our lives but you mark my word koinonia what is about to happen to men and women god has seen your heart you will see the sudden liftings of men by divine strategies i saw it in that vision people helping themselves and it's like a chain reaction within a short period of time rising in a way that is enviable he made this for our glory father we give you praise tonight we respect your authority in this house we respect what you are doing we take you seriously and we believe you thank you oh god for showing us tonight a system for accessing the deep things of god i pray oh god that you will grant us grace that as we pray this prayer we receive deep things from the kingdom and that grace be supplied to walk in the instructions thereof Lord, I am asking you to lift everyone. Lift everyone connected to this vision. First, lift us spiritually, oh God. Let no one be weak in this place. Let no one be small in this place. Oh God, let your sons and daughters be men and women of fire and insight. And then I pray, oh God, that the things that pertain unto life, you will give us. The thing the issues of life may they be solved once and for all that we may have the time to serve you and declare your praises to the nations we thank you we receive it by faith and we declare that this is our experience in the name of jesus christ apostle i want to give my life to jesus christ keep standing everybody i love him with all my heart but seeing what he has done tonight it is a call for me to run to him you're here inside outside overflow one two three by the roadside online you are saying man of god i want to run to jesus i have seen that this is the way i want my life to be 
or you are here you are saying apostle i've handed my life to jesus but i want to rededicate my life i want to take him seriously because he is my life wherever you are please make sure you run here overflow outside overflow one and two you can come in join those inside overflow three for time's sake just walk to your projector stand please do this quickly wherever you are god bless you god bless you thank you for your courage my brother thank you my sister god bless you i see you coming make sure you don't sit back i love you jesus keep coming quickly i worship and adore you just want to tell you that i love you more than anything are you coming please make your way very quickly i love you jesus appreciate them as they come i worship and adore you just want to tell you that i love you more than anything one more time i believe somebody still needs to come and join them i love you jesus i worship and adore you just want to tell you that i love you more than anything hallelujah those in front and those at overflow three and those online all of you please say this after me Come join them darling quickly say lord jesus say it from the depth of your heart say lord jesus i believe in you that you are the son of god i believe you love me i believe you gave your heart your life to set me free tonight i receive of your life i receive righteousness I receive all that you have done for me and I declare that I am a child of God the life of God is in my spirit I declare that you are my Lord now and forever I declare that the spirit of the living God comes into my life tonight and he's with me forever thank you Jesus let me pray for you father thank you for these precious people they have come in honor of the call that you have made over their lives and destinies lord preserve them validate this declaration that they have made by faith by granting them access to the spirit of truth the one who can search the mind of the father i pray that you make their lives beautiful produce the garden of eden out of every wilderness in the name of jesus christ Thank you for watching our entire video today. If you feel you can bless someone, please join us and spread the gospel by sharing this video on your social media.